Money coming their way amid the ongoing city budget talks. One department could see its budget triple compared to this year. The proposed jump in the Neighborhood and Housing Services Department comes as San Antonio tries to tackle its affordable housing program. City Hall reporter Garrett Berger has more on what that money will go to. But first, Garrett, how is the city affording this huge budget increase? Well, Steve, the jump from the $49 million budget this year to the $150 million proposed for next year is driven almost entirely by the voter-approved housing bond, which voters passed earlier this year. Now, the city plans to spend its first-of-a-kind $150 million housing bond within three or four years, and most of it is in this year's proposed budget, the majority focused on producing new affordable housing units. So with this first RFP process, we have about half of our bond funds are available for entities to propose projects. We'll have another round of requests for proposals later this year, but it is a plan to spend those bond funds sooner rather than later. We need more affordable housing now. Uh, rent prices are going up, housing prices are going up, and the best way we can address that is to provide more new units in the community. The city's also spending bond money on home rehab and repair programs. Between the bond and typical city revenue sources, the city has about $26 million set aside for that, and it's currently accepting applications. We've got more information on how you can apply if you need help fixing up your home. Check it out on our website, ksat.com. Now, the city's strategic housing plan calls for producing or preserving more than 28,000 affordable housing units in the span of a decade. For the next year, NHSD has a goal of preserving or producing about 2,500 units combined. I'm Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News.